One of the first people to analyze this was a linguist named Roman Jakobsen. Jakobsen argued that every communicative act had six basic elements, or factors. There's a message, text, or information being conveyed, a person sending the message, a person receiving the message, the situation in which the communicative act happens, and the wider world in which it's situated, which is called the context, the means by which the message is conveyed is the channel. This could refer to voice, gesture, text messaging, or any other medium of communication. And finally, a code, a symbolic system through which meanings are communicated, especially languages. According to Jakobsen, a message has six functions. Each function is associated with one of these six factors. For example, take a message like, Ow, that hurt! It expresses the internal state of the sender, and so it's an example of the emotive function. A message like, Tom, go clean your room, by contrast, focuses on the receiver of the message and exhibits what Jakobsen calls the conative function. A sentence like, there's an anthropologist behind you, draws attention to the context, and so serves as an example of the referential function. Any descriptive statement about the world is referential. What about this exchange? Hi, how are you? Hey, what's up? The second speaker doesn't actually answer the first speaker's question and in standard spoken English, they're not really supposed to. What they are doing is connecting, using the channel of communication to open, maintain, and verify the act of communicating itself. Jakobsen calls this the phatic function, communication that functions for the sake of interaction. We see the phatic function can be observed in many greetings and casual chit-chat, particularly between strangers. But what about this phrase from Dr. Seuss? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find, for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. Through rhyming, alliteration, and wordplay, this phrase is focused on the nature of the message itself. The poetic function focuses on the message for its own sake, and is the operative function in poetry as well as many political slogans and advertising jingles. Finally, consider a phrase that might come from this lecture. Every linguistic act has six functions. Here a code, language in this case, is being used to comment on language itself. This metalingual function involves the use of language to discuss or describe itself.